Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can add clothes to a character and simulate them using cloth physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.1, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, let's import our character along with the animation. So go to this file, import, it is an FBX file, select this FBX and let me select the character. So this is the file, import FBX. So here we got that character. So press S and increase the scaling here like this. So here this character I have created in make human. So make human is also an open source just like blender which is used to create these kind of characters. So I have created this exported in OBJ format and later I have exported this one to Mixamo to get the animations. So if you want to learn how to do that just click on the i card above or else you can check the link in the description on how to add animations onto the 3D characters. Okay. So here if I expand this one and let me select the armature. So here we will get the keyframes. If I play this, you can see we got this animation here. So it is not throughout the timeline here. So let me change this timeline to 350. So here I want this walk cycle throughout the timeline. So here we can either copy and paste these keyframes or else we can come to this option here. Just click here and select this non-linear animation. Click on this push button and Click on this arrow here or else press N on the keyboard here. Come to this. Let me expand this one so that it is visible here. Come to this strip options. Scroll down. Come to this action clip. And from here we can increase the repeat count. So we can increase this repeat count so that it fills up the timeline. And let me drag this here. So let me change timeline. So now if I play this till 30 seconds there won't be any animation and after that this walk cycle continues nice so now let's see how we can create shirt and trousers using this model only so for that be on this first frame let me hide out this armature now select the character come to this properties option here modify properties disable this vertex group so that we will get the basic pose so let me hide, select these eyes, let me hide it by pressing H on the keyboard. So now let's see how we can make clothes using the model mesh. So first press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. So press C on the keyboard for circuit selection. Okay. In order to exit this one, mouse right click. Okay. So first let me change this to face mode so that we can select the faces here. So press C on the keyboard for this circle selection. And if you want to increase the radius of that circuit, use mouse scroll wheel up and down here like this so that we can increase or decrease the radius so in order to confirm that radius use right click of mouse so now let's select the mesh here so let me select the mesh here like this so in order to continue this one hold shift key and select the meshes so make sure we have selected every mesh here so in order to deselect anything so here we need to deselect these phases. So hold control key and deselect the phases which you don't want. So here I don't want this. So once the mesh is selected, okay. So now we need to duplicate this one. So press shift plus D to duplicate it and left click to confirm that one. Now press alt and S and scale it up a bigger than the original mesh. So after scaling this up, press P on the keyboard and make it separate by selection. So now we got this shirt separated from this body mesh. Okay. So now select this one object set origin origin to geometry. We got the origin point to the center. So on this shirt, we got this body impressions like chest, abs and all. So we need to make this flat. So select this shirt. Before that, let me select the character. Press H on the keyboard to hide it. Now select this one. Come to this sculpting. And here let's sculpt this flat. So now you can see we got these impressions of chest and these apps. So for that, let me select this flatten tool and just flat. So let me increase the radius here a bit. So 0.78. 
and let's flat this one. So I think this is fine. Now let's move back to this layout once again. And here we got this few faces missing. So let's fix them. Press tab. So here we got these holes here. So first let me select the faces first. So select the face. This one, this one, this one, this one, this, this and delete these faces. So now select this edge, hold alt key and select this edges. Press F on the keyboard to fill it up. So now press tab on the keyboard to exit this one. And now if I bring back the character here, we need to make sure that this cloth or this outer mesh is not passing through this original mesh. So now let's add cloth physics onto this outer mesh. So select this outer mesh, come to this physics property and add cloth. So from presets, I will use denim. And here you can see we got this vertex mask one. And let me select this character, add collision. And now if I play this, so here cloth physics is working fine. So now let's bring back the animation. So select the character, come to these properties and enable this bind to vertex group. Select this shirt also and enable this bind to vertex group. So make sure that this mesh is not passing through the inner mesh. So now if I play this, we can say we got our cloth sim here working fine. Nice. So let's let me unbind this one. Select the character and let me unbind this one also. So let me hide out this base character. So let me go to this edit mode once again. Press tab for edit mode. Select these phases. So here let me change this to circle selection. So after select the faces, delete these phases here. So here I want this crease. So now select this vertex mode and let me select this vertices here. Let me change this to select box so that I can select this individual vertices and let me move them back. Let me select this two and let me move them back here like this. Okay. So again, press tab to exit that one. Now we got our shirt ready. So we can add solidify modifier. So select this one, add modifiers, add solidify modifier to get some thickness. And we need to move this solid frame modifier before to this cloth simulation. So you can select the cloth simulation and drag it below to this solid frame modifier. Okay. So I think the thickness is fine. So now let's create trousers. So enable this beige mesh. Let me hide out this shirt. So now let's create the trousers. So select the character, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Select this face selection mode here. We can use this select circle or else now let me use this lasso. Let's change this to lasso. Press one on the keyboard for front view and let's select the meshes. So from here, I will select the mesh. So here we got our selection. So now we need to duplicate the selection. So shift plus D to duplicate that one. Left click to confirm. And now we need to separate it, the duplicated portion. So press P and separate it by selection. We got that mesh separated. So now we need to select that mesh. So press tab for exit, select that mesh, press. First of all, let me adjust the origin to geometry. Now press S or else let's move to edit mode. Press A to select all the faces, Alt S and increase the scaling here. So now let's apply cloth onto this separated portion. So press tab to exit that one, select this mesh, come to this physics property, add cloth and preset. Let's use denim only and come to this modifier options. Bring collision below to the cloth. Okay. So first should be cloth later the collision. So if I play this, you can see these trousers will be falling down. So I need to fix that. So be on the first frame. Press tab for edit mode. Select these above faces or else vertices. So let me select the vertices only. Change to vertex mode. Hold Alt key and select these above vertices. 
Now come to this object data properties. Create a new group. Here I will change this to V group and assign it. Okay. After that, come to this physics property. Scroll down to shape. Come to this shape. And in pin group, we need to select the vertex group which we have created. So this is the group which we have created. Select it and press tab to exit that mode. So now if I play, this cloth will not fall down. These trousers will not fall down. So now let's reduce the scaling. So now select all these vertices once again. Enable this proportional mode. Press S and reduce the scaling here. So we can increase this proportional mode here and let me bring it here like this okay so that these vertices come close to this main mesh so you can press tab to exit that edit mode so now let's bring back this shared mesh and make sure it is not intersecting or passing through here we can see this shared mesh is passing through the so select this shirt press tab for edit mode once again now select the vertices so let me select the vertices here, move and let's bring them up. So we don't want these vertices to intersect or the mesh to intersect with each other. So make it apart from each other. So let's bring back the animation first. So first select the character, come to this modify properties, bind to enable it, select the cloth or shirt bind to now trousers bind to okay so now we got these trousers and shirt onto the character now let's bake the simulation so select any either shirt or trouser come to this properties once again scroll down and before baking this one make sure to enable collision properties so here we need to enable this self collision for trousers also we need to enable self collision okay and quality steps we can increase this i'll increase this to four select the cloth and for this also i increase the collision steps to four nice so now come to this cache so here we want 350 frames so i'll change this to 350 and click on this bake all dynamics option so here i have baked only few frames so first let's see the cloth simulation so if i play this you can see our cloth simulation is working good nice so now let's add materials onto this cloth. So for that, let me move on to this material viewport. And first, let me select the cloth or else let me select the character first. And for character, come to this material properties, add new material and color, base color, I will use. So this is fine. Now select this shirt, add new material, come to the shading tab. Okay. So here we got this principal BSDF. So let me bring it here. So now select this principal BSDF and press Ctrl plus T for Node Wrangler. And by the way, if you are not enabled Node Wrangler, go to this Edit. Sorry, come to this Edit. Preferences. In Add-ons, look for Node. So enable this Node Wrangler. Save the preferences here. After that, select this principal BSDF and press Ctrl plus T to get these nodes. Okay. So from here, we can select any texture that reflects on this cloth. So let me select a texture, open. So I have downloaded this texture. So select it, open. So here we got that one. So let me increase the scaling to 10 and Y10. Okay. So now you can see we got a texture. Now select the trousers. And from material, let's add the same material to change this pattern or change this texture first we need to click on this number so change click on that number and also click on this number here now we can select another material onto that so let me select this jean or denim cloth open so here you can see we got that one scaling here i don't want this too much so i will change this to two and two and let me reduce or increase the roughness a bit reduce the specular this is fine and for this also let me increase the roughness reduce the specular so we don't want any specular here okay so now we got materials 
onto this shirt and trouser nice so move back to this layout once again and now let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh plane press s and increase scaling here and for this also let's add another material so again move to shading new material select the principal psdf ctrl plus t for no triangular and let me select any wooden texture so here i will be using this texture select that one and open image so it is updated here and let me add shift a come to this search and search for curves add rgb curves in between and bring it here down so that this becomes dark nice now come to this layout once again select this below material now let's move on to this render viewport so this is material viewport so now let's move on to this render viewport so in render viewport this scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so in order to light up the scene i will be using an hdra so click on this world properties add new add come to this click on this color add environment texture and from here we can select hdra so let me select an hdra so here we got i will select this hdra and open so we got lighting in the scene come to this render properties add ambient occlusion distance let it be 10 and enable this screen space reflections and the refractions also so come to this fill in make it transparent for transparent background and in order to make this flow reflective come to this material properties and make it metallic bit and reduce the roughness so now we can see the reflections on the floor so if you want to add light in the scene for shadows we can do that so go to this add light at sun so come to this light properties strength i will increase this to 5 press g and let me bring it here press r and rotate it so that we can see the shadows we can see the shadows here so let me select this and let me make it dark okay so once everything is done we need to bake the simulation finally so move on to the first frame once again select the cloth material come to this physics property come to this cache we need to delete the previous bake so delete all bakes here and click on this bake all dynamics once again so now we will be baking all these 350 frames now so in this way we can add cloths to the character and simulate them using cloth physics in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye